As you know, mathematical language is used to convey a very precise meaning. In this video, I'm going to talk about two terms that come up a lot in graph theory, and those terms are maximum and maximal. Now, they may sound similar, but they do mean different things. So let's take a look. In mathematics, when we use the word maximum, we are using it with respect to some quantity. And when we use the word maximal, we are using it with respect to inclusion. The same thing can be said of the words minimum and minimal, but in this video we'll focus on the max case. Alright, so to give a practical demonstration of the difference between these two words, let's use an example. We're going to talk about independent sets, so let's first define those. An independent set in a graph G is a set of vertices, S, a subset of the vertex set, such that no two vertices of S are adjacent in the graph. Let's take a look at a quick example. Here I'll draw five vertices and adjoin them like this with these five edges. Consider the set S1, the vertex A and the vertex D. This is an independent set, and it's also maximal because no other vertex can be added to S1 while maintaining the property of being an independent set. But now if we take a look at a different set, S2, which will contain vertices B, C, and E, we'll see that this is also a maximal independent set for the same reason, but it's maximum because there is no larger independent set in this graph. So to recap, S1 is maximal but not maximum, whereas S2 is both maximal and maximum. Also notice that if we take set S3 to just have vertices B and C, it is independent, but it's not maximal and it's not maximum. Great! Now we should be feeling pretty familiar with these two words. Remember that we've seen the idea of connected components in graphs before. Now that we really understand the idea of maximal, we can define this precisely. Let's take a look. A component of a graph is a maximal connected subgraph. So if we take a look at this graph G, which is all of these green vertices, and then I'll draw in some edges like this, then this piece, which I'll draw like this, is a component. But this smaller piece is not, it's missing a vertex. And also this smaller piece is not because it's missing an edge. Also note that this path on three vertices is a component. It's this piece right here on the right hand side of the graph. And that's because it's maximal, even though it's not maximum. Okay, I hope you're now comfortable with the terms maximal and maximum. Check out these related videos and I'll see you next time.